Today is uh, day five of construction. Uh, yesterday, uh, in yesterday's video, I said it was day three, and I was incorrect. Yesterday was actually day four. I uh, lost track of time, so uh, rookie mistake. Um, so we have two day three videos, so I guess I'll have to go back and rename it 3A and 3B. Uh, so 3B will be day four, and then today is the official day five. So we're sitting here day five, another beautiful day, a uh, hot day. Uh, you can see uh, in the nice view. Um, the update today, not not a lot of progress um, that you can see, uh, but some important things are happening. So the columns of the house, um, they are, they built the columns. And here's the first one. You can see the footings poured, so the concrete's down. And then you can see the actual column that goes up. And it goes up pretty high. And you can see them, they're setting them up all around the house. Uh, so the front of the house will have four columns. And there is six pieces of 12 millimeter rebar. So there's six pieces there, three and three. And then... Uh, stirrups is what they call that surrounds it to keep it uh, from bowing and then they will build boxes um, plywood boxes around this rebar and then they'll pour cement down inside those boxes and then I'll create the columns so there's four columns across the front there's four columns across the back so they're making these columns today um, and setting them in place um, and then once they get all that done they will go ahead and start uh, mixing the cement and then filling in the footings and uh, start prepping the uh, the columns to be poured now so there's eight columns four across the back and four across the front but then inside the house um, there's additional columns. So between uh, the master bedroom and the closet and master bathroom, there'll be two columns. And then we designed it where there was no columns in the living room at all. So all this area here, there'll be no columns. There'll be beams across the top for the span, but no columns. We wanted that open concept. And then There'll be four columns here to separate the living room, dining room, and kitchen from the spare bedrooms and the uh, Jack and Jill bathroom. There'll be four columns here. So they're working hard. They're getting it done. Uh, it's a lot of busy work today of prep, uh, getting the columns ready. And then they're also working on this fence, fence line over here. Um, they're making some progress. Look at all those rocks. So they're digging it out by hand and uh, prepping for columns. There'll be a column here. Um, there'll be another column here. Now this will be underground, but what they're going to do with these rocks is they're going to drill into the rocks where the fence will be, and then they'll drive rebar down into the rocks and then coming out, and then they'll pour the footing over those rebar and that'll keep it from moving so actually it'll be uh it should be stronger now this rock here will be exposed we have no choice but to have this exposed so the rock wall will be built around it there'll be a footing there there'll be a footing back there but you'll actually see this so that'll be interesting to see how they do that they'll pour cement up and around that um, and they'll pin it, so they'll be drilling into that rock and put in rebar. But actually, the cement wall will jump over top of that rock because that is not coming out. That's that's the actual rock that broke the bucket of the uh, excavator. So that's real solid granite, and you're not going to move it. So we're going to jump the fence over that. So that'll be interesting. So that's where we're at. Day five of construction. Um, and that is the uh, update for today. Talk to you guys later.